had such, such fun together. Can, how can I give you away? Who are you talking to, Diggity? My yo-yo, Fred. I love Fred. Then why are you giving Fred away? Well, we're having a toy drive for the animal shelter, and everybody's supposed to bring some used toys, you know, for the, for the puppies and kittens. Well, that's a terrific idea. It'll cheer up the lost and homeless animals. Well, I know, but I don't, I don't think I can give Fred away. We've been together so long. I've taught him some really bunch of, bunch of great tricks like walk the human and all these different things. You know, the baby cradle and, you know, cause I like babies and all. Well, how about this? Let's just take Fred out of the pile. I'll hold on to him. And the puppies will like, how about this Frisbee? Oh, the good time that me and Miss Mr. Frisbee have had, without him, my, my life would be a garbage dump. Okay, well, you don't have to give Mr. Frisbee away if he means that much to you, so I'll put him over here with your yo-yo. You know, my, and my baseball and tennis ball, you know, Mr. Greg used to throw them to me, and, you know, I just, just thinking about if I, if I gave them away, it, it would just break my heart and stuff like that, and I, I don't think Mr. Greg would like that either. Well, oh dear, there's nothing left for you to give away. Yeah, tennis ball kind of slobbery, so watch out. Yeah, thank you. Well, what are you gonna do, and what are you gonna give to the animal shelter? Well, I need, I need this stuff more than they do. Yeah, I'll give something away next time. Maybe you ought to think this over. We know that God cares for those in need, but he wants us to be his helpers. Well, God has lots of stuff. You know, I, he could give a whole planet to the animal shelter and never miss it. What if Elisha had felt that way when the poor widow asked for help? Do I know that story? Well, it's about a widow who was poor. She had nothing in her cupboard but a little cooking oil. She had no money to pay her bills. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> I remember Elisha told her to ask her neighbors for a whole bunch of jars. You know, she, she started pouring that little bit of oil in the jars, and the oil didn't run out until, until all the jars were full. Yes. Then Elisha told the widow to sell the jars of oil. She was able to pay all the money she owed. She, she, <laughs> see how wonderfully God cares for those in need? You've drunk some of that oil, haven't you? Sorry. Well, what? What did God have to do with it? It seemed like Elisha was a good guy. Elisha was God's faithful helper. It was God who made the oil fill the jars. Hmm. Well, if God made more, more of the Fred, then the, the, the way he did with the oil, then one Fred could become hundreds of Freds. Every puppy at the shelter could have a yo-yo. God could make more of all your toys if lots of boys and girls helped by giving. Well, okay, Fred. It looks like God needs you to help with, you know, with the needy. So, so, so long, buddy. You know, you, you too, Mr. Frisbee. You know, buy uh, baseball and tennis ball. And you know, I think the kids are, you know, that, I think that story is, is some pretty good news. That is. Hey. That reminds me, I've got some good news to share. Where's my tie? I gotta go find my tie. Hello, Northside. It's Diggity Dog, bringing you some doggone good news. Now, this is the final week of our month of Club 66, and we have some wonderful kids who have learned their books of the Bible. Now, Michael Reed and Avery Greathouse, you can see their pictures right here. We delivered their medals to them, and they were so wonderful, my, my tail was just wagging off. And also, in breaking news, we have Rhett and Reese Bennett. They got under the wire and got their books learned. So that's some doggone good news. And it's Diggity Dog signing off from Doggone Good News Network.
our Bible point and sign language again. And Miss Tina and I are together today to do that. Our Bible point is God cares for people in need. Now, God is take, just like this. Now, the next one is kind of hard, so we're going to talk about what that looks like. For cares and people, we're going to use the same hand gesture, hand, hand design, okay? You're going to do like two fingers with your thumb kind of between them, okay? You're going to do that on both hands. Can you do that? Even if you can just do this, that's okay because that's close, okay? So cares, you put one hand on top of the other and you make a circle, okay? Good. People use the same hand motions and do this. Okay. So, so far we have God cares for people in need. And that means it's real important. They need something, okay? So let's see if we can do all of that together. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. God cares for people in need. Good. Great job. Thanks, Ms. Coco. You bet. Oh, good work. God cares for people in need. Second Kings 4, 1 through 7. The wife of a man from the company of the prophets cried out to Elisha, she said, My husband is dead. You know how much respect he had for the Lord, but he owed money to someone, and now that person is coming to take my two boys away. They will become his slaves. Elisha replied to her, How can I help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? I don't have anything there at all, she said. All I have is a little olive oil. Elisha said, Go around to all your neighbors, ask them for empty jars, get as many as you can, then go inside your house, shut the door behind you and your sons, pour oil into all of the jars. As each jar is filled, put it over to one side. The woman left him. 
After that, she shut the door behind her and her sons. They brought the jars to her, and she kept pouring. When all the jars were full, she spoke to one of her sons. She said, Bring me another jar. But he replied, There aren't any more left. Then the oil stopped flowing. She went and told the man of God about it. He said, Go and sell the oil. Pay what you owe. You and your sons can live on what is left. God cares for people in me. Elisha! Hello. Your servant, my husband, is dead. You know he feared the Lord and that he was known among the prophets. Now, his creditors, they, they want to come and take my children as his slaves. What do you have? What? What do you have in, in your house? I have nothing. What do you have? Nothing. Ex except a little oil. Bring it to me. Go to your neighbors. Get all their empty jars. And get as many as you can carry. And bring it here. Pour the oil into the empty jars. When each is filled, put it to the side. Get all you can carry. the jar. Hurry. Hurry, I need another jar. Oh. Sell your oil and pay your debts, and you and your sons live on the rest. Thank you. Thank you.
Ann Pippert, and I'm here today to do the word corner. I haven't always liked my name, Ruth, but I did think it was pretty cool to find out that it's a book in the Bible. Ruth is famous for staying with her mother-in-law when her mother-in-law lost her husband and Ruth lost her husband. That made them both widows. A widow is someone whose husband has died. God cares for people in need. Deuteronomy 10, 18. He stands up for widows and for children whose fathers have died. He loves outsiders. He gives them food and clothes. Greg. Hey, Miss Tina. I wanted to come outside and pray with you today. Well, it's wonderful out here. It is beautiful. You ready to pray? I am. Let's Are you going to pray with us? Okay, let's pray. God, we thank you today. God, we thank you today. Because you care for your people. Because you care for your people. That are in need. That are in need. We also thank you. We also thank you. For caring for us. Caring for us. Each of us have needs, Lord. Each of us have needs, Lord. We need you. We need you. And we love you. And we love you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen.
to remind you that this is the first Sunday of the month. And what we do on the first Sunday of the month is we bring together our coins and we collect them for our homeless bags. Remember those orange backpacks that we can carry in our car. And listen, we are, Miss Coco, Miss Sarah and I, we love coming and doing drop-offs. So if you need some of those to carry in your, in your car, let us know. We'll come by and drop one on your, on your porch and let you carry them with you. Now, when we were delivering a Club 66 medal to Micah Reed, we were so surprised because Parker and Micah had been making encouragement cards and collecting their coins, and they gave those to us, and we are using them right now. And if you have that for us to pick up, we'll come by your house. Stay safe. We love you. Have a good week.